Well, I don't know if you can hear this, folks, but by golly, we're sat down on our little bench and it's really busy. Yeah. We've seen about, we've seen more boats here in the last half an hour than we've seen on the Trenton Mersey in a month. Birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Mrs. Bonneville, happy birthday to you. <laughs> we'll see you soon, folks. We're going on a day out, and it's Mrs. B's birthday. <laughs> I'm 32. She's 32 today, and I'm 21. And there's our little boy. Right, we'll see you in a minute, folks. Oh, by the way, we weren't here last week because we had nothing to show you, so we're not going to film for the sake of it. <laughs> hey, who's this? Who's this? Hey. <laughs> right, folks. Time of filming this, it's the 4th of September, it's someone's birthday. We are up in Langoflin and we're going to go and do a little walk. Yeah, sorry folks, we are up on the Langoflin Canal. Last time we filmed this, we walked to this lovely little cafe and we said we'd come back and keep going. And that's what we're going to do today on Mrs B's birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that way is towards the aqueduct, uh, the very scary one. And that actually looks... Looks a really nice shot that Mr. B. Look at the blue sky and Looks the lovely, the it? water and everything. Beautiful. It's summer. That's the little cafe that we went to when we were here last time. So, Mr. B. This is as far as we came, weren't it? Yeah, I think we'd had an argument. We had to go to marriage counselling. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah, we said. We said, as I say, when we sat in that lovely cafe, we'd like to keep exploring for a few hours. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And look at the weather, by the way. I know. Look, the cafe, if I just turn around, the cafe's just up there. And they, luckily, we've just come in the right time because they've just closed this now. Could you imagine us operating one of these? <laughs> there she is, look, birthday girl, doing her socials. Thing is, folks, every time I come here, I want to get another narrow boat and go continuous cruising and never come back. Never going to happen. Well, there she is, look. <laughs> Everyone, by the way, um, got Mrs. B Amazon vouchers, and she's absolutely loaded. Jeff Bezos, look out. Your online store's gonna get hammered. Tonight I'm going to have a strawberry daiquiri. Beans on toast. Beans on toast and spend my money. <laughs> right, we're gonna go walk up that way, folks, as I say, for a, an hour or so and see what. Oh. Nice bungalow. Yeah. I think that's what we'll end up in a bungalow. Bungalow, I think we will. Something like that. Because we're on a big floating bungalow now, aren't we? We're on a floating bungalow now, yeah. Oh, isn't it lovely? Seriously, come on. Come on, everybody. What's Mrs. B looking at? <gasps> Can you see it, folks? Pointy finger. It doesn't look as scary that far away. <laughs> oh, I did poo myself when I walked on that sofa. <laughs> you didn't literally poo yourself, did you? I felt like I <laughs> <laughs> We're just admiring all these lovely properties, folks. Yeah. Lovely couple of bungalows over there. Yeah, right lovely here. couple of terrace cottages here. Yeah. Yeah, very, very pretty. <laughs> Lovely little dog lying down, look. Where's some boats coming? Oh, there's a couple of boats hey, coming. Anybody think we're a boating channel? Hey, anyone think we're a couple of gong gong goozlers? Gong goozlers. Gong goozlers. We are, though, aren't we? Hey, a couple of boats, look. Yeah. I wonder how much these properties are. It's They're lovely grass. Just lovely. Lovely. Right. Shall we... Uh, we film these two boats. If we film these two boats, sorry about the shaky footage. I've not had daiquiris. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Look at that. What a lovely scene. Yeah. What a lovely scene, folks. It is. Ah, summer's finally arrived in the UK. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 
sun shines on the righteous, you see. It does. That's it, when you're, when you're 32. <laughs> okay, goodbye folks. There we are folks, let me just zoom in. There you go, look. That's the world famous aqueduct that Mrs. B, God bless her, walked over. Very proud of her that day. Thank you. Was it just that one day that you'd be proud of her? Just that one day, love. <laughs> just the one day. I'll accept that. <laughs> Now, we've no idea what's down there, but we're gonna go and just continue along the towpath, folks. Oh, it's lovely to see boats moving. It is a lovely, I mean, whilst we never did it, oh, I do keep saying to Mrs. B, if it's because we're very adventurous, and if we'd have gone out once on our narrowboat, I don't think we'd have come back. I really do mean that. But anyway, who knows what they say the future holds, who knows? Folks, come on. Seriously, if you do not like that scene, look at that. Oh, dear me. Lovely. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It is lovely. Right. We'll pick back up, folks, once we've got somewhere to sit down and rest our weary bones, even though we've only been walking for five minutes. That's the Chirk Aqueduct. Lovely. I think that's Mrs. B. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan today, folks, as I say, we're going to look at our boy up there. We're going to explore the canal for a few hours. Then we're going to turn around and have a spot of lunch in that lovely cafe. Hopefully it's open. <laughs> Just filming Mrs. B filming that. Well, I don't know if you can hear this, folks, but by golly, we're sat down on our little bench and it's really busy. Yeah. We've seen about, we've seen more boats here in the last half an hour than we've seen on the Trenton Mersey in a month. <laughs> <laughs> including our own moving which of course it never does as you know yeah we've just uh, reinforced that little kenneth god bless him he really doesn't like the sound of boats bless him good job you don't move yeah i think he will get used to it but he doesn't like the sound of a boat moving <laughs> she was organising everything and if me and Darren had ever been out it would have been me that had organised that wouldn't it oh I'm yeah you like a Gantt chart don't you I love a Gantt chart oh a Gantt chart and yeah. a yellow tabard maps <laughs> lists I love all that sort of stuff yeah <laughs> I'd have everything listed down and wrote down definitely right happen. we're just saying you never know watch this space we might just hire a narrow boat at some yeah. point <laughs> oh that's a must that's come a must on here. yeah come on here right folks let me turn you around because we're going to go and continue to explore up there. Now then, Mrs B, have we got anything to update on the boat? Ooh, I think you have, haven't you? We have. We'll uh, clip in here in a minute or at some point on this little uh, vlog um, the update on the roof and managed oh, the weather really has been against us folks mm. but managed to put the first coat on or start the first coat just yesterday so 3rd of September I've waited all summer but for those that are in the UK or got friends that are living in the UK that live abroad you'll know we've had an awful, awful. really it's been a washout so uh, do, you know, do you know if we get 
on the news, it's saying we've had one of the hottest summers or something. Oh, I know. And we're to wring somebody's neck. Oh, I know. Because we haven't. No. It's been horrible. So, yeah, um, hopefully I can get the, um, the roof finished this week because the weather is set very nice. So I'll either do it first thing in the morning or later on in the afternoon. Brilliant. But, uh, yeah, Mrs B will clip something in now. And we're going to continue to explore down there, look. Oh, now then, folks, quick update on the roof, because we did promise. Oh, where do I start? The uh, weather in the UK. For those that live in the UK, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The summer of 2023 has been an absolute washout. We had probably two weeks earlier on um, in the summer, and I would have known about what the summer would have ended up looking like I'd have got on the roof then but anyway the summer's been awful so we have been really hindered and hampered with that so <clears throat> where I'm at with the roof is I've I think I may have said on a previous um vlog um sorry I'm I'm looking out the window because sometimes you get folk walking down to the boat broker looking in and I wave <laughs> sometimes you hear them saying oh that's a nice boat it's not for sale yet Anyway, so I digress as usual. Um, so where we've got to, I've rubbed it down. Um, we've got a spot on the front where a satellite dish had been um, kind of housed. And when the satellite dish was taken off, it's taken a bit of the paint with it. It's created probably about a foot in, sur in, in, in diameter uh, rust spot. That's been treated, nothing wrong with that. By the way, if anyone's sitting there thinking, oh my God, rust spot. The minute your boat gets put in the water, it starts to rust, believe me. So you're always um, kind of looking after your boat in terms of keeping an eye on the rust. It's not, you know, that damaging, just aesthetically, well, unless it's the hull. Aesthetically, it just doesn't look very nice. Anyway, so I've treated that, I've rubbed the roof back, and what I've done is I've um, painted all down the channels and the bands uh, across the roof which I'll show you in a minute and the plan is um, this week I'm actually um, on the boat all week so I'm going to wait for the um, condensation which you'll see in a minute on the roof to dry off with the sun and then I'll get on it and start to paint the actual roof so let me go and show you what I'm talking about. Right folks look at that sky so time of filming this it's the 5th of September well hopefully you can see behind me pointy finger the roof is kind of divided um, with these flat painted bands so I've done those hopefully you can see with the condensation they stand out quite nice and I've done um, the channels let me just show you these are the channels so I've done all down there um, let me show you the bands hopefully oops, turn you around hopefully that will pick it up a little bit better um, the bands I've done the, these here, by the way, there's 10 of these on the boat. These are little covers. I can lift those off and underneath there are prisms, prisms even, that flood the inside of the boat with light. So I've painted those. And I say, all I'm waiting to do now is just actually the main bit, each side of the bands. I hope all that's made sense. I am really pleased with it. It's one of those jobs that, as I say, I'd have loved to have got onto this much, much earlier. Um, but I've not been able to. So anyway, the gentleman behind me, I don't know if you can see him, uh, is the manager of New and Used Boats, Ian, nice guy. Right, let me get back in and um, do a day's work, wait for the sun to um, uh, take all this condensation off the roof and I'll get onto it, maybe do a little bit more footage. All right, that's just an update. Cheers guys, bye. Sorry, one last point um, that I should have made. Um, someone did ask, actually asked me, um, and apologies, it was quite a while ago on an email, how did we colour code or colour match the paint? Um, we went over to, <coughs> excuse me, New and Used Boats, which is where we bought Chow Bella from, um, and asked if they had got the paint codes, which they managed to find for us. And also there's a big, I've talked about it quite a lot, there's a big black folder that um, came with the boat full of information, photographs of it being originally built, all sorts of stuff in there, and the paint codes are in there. And then I went to Midland Chandlers, um, which is our um, chandlery here on Mercy Marina, and they very, very kindly sourced the paint for me. So 
that's how we got the paint. I've also um, bought a small pot of the um, cream which goes around the banding on the back of the boat and a small pot of the lighter blue which is on the side of the boat um, should I ever need it. So yeah, that's how I uh, managed to get the, um, the paint colours. Cheers guys. Now, now then folks, we are, I'm going to let you either Google it or Mrs B will put something in here, Offers Dyke Path. Offers Dyke, the 80 mile long man-made earthwork meets the Langothlin Canal here. It is thought the great Anglo-Saxon king built the dyke to mark his border between Mercia and his enemies, the Prince of Wales. Offer is believed to have built the dyke in the 8th century, but he may have joined up earlier earthworks to create a continuous line. Like the canal, the dyke was a marvel of engineering for its time, but did Offer build it for defence, to control trade, or to show off his power? Who knows? But there's the old Offer's dyke border. For those Look at my lovely wife. Happy birthday, Mrs B. I do love you. She's my best friend, folks. Best thing that's ever happened to me. She really is. And that little fella there. Those are the two most important things in my life. Oh, and Mrs B's spag bog, lasagna, cottage pie. Oh, God, she's a good cook. I think Mrs Bonneville's taking a photograph of that. Bridge 27W for future reference, because there's a little car park we can um, park in because I know we're going to come back and just pick this up. What we tend to do folks is we walk two miles one way and obviously two miles back from for Kenneth and that's four miles. I mean the little lad could do a lot more but that's enough. As I say we're going to stop at that lovely cafe. Just come on, come on. Look at that folks. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Oh, why did we not take our narrowboat out? <laughs> I think Kenneth's getting used to the boats. Are you getting used to the boats, fella? No, I want to play with my stick, but <laughs> That's Kenneth's code for come on on board. Right, let's carry on. Blimey folks, you've just missed another canal boat jam. I tell you, I've not seen so many boats. This is the place to come if you want to gong goozle. Oh, I said that without stuttering. Yeah, we're gong goozlers. We're gong goozlers. Now then folks, can you see what's in the water? I know. Oh, Can you see? Kenneth's not a lover of them. Oh, Kenneth does not like cows. And I'm really pleased he doesn't. Look at the little lad. It's all right, mate. He's yeah, not going to come no. anywhere near you. He's just cooling off, Kenneth. Come on, mate. Come on, Let's keep walking. Come on. Come on. That's it. Good lad. Good lad. He didn't notice that. No, first, did he, he didn't. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, bless. No, he doesn't like, and as I say, I'm rather pleased. I don't like horses. <laughs> there you go, oh, blimey. Come round the corners with a load of boats. Oh, it is lovely, folks. I know we keep saying it. All right. We've just, uh, we've just seen, or rather I've just noticed that we've just come up to uh, the, is it Chirk? Chirk? Chirk Tunnel. Chirk Tunnel. And there's the entrance tunnel and we were here before and um and when we were here before we didn't want to go through the tunnel really because kenneth no, he hated like it, it didn't he, he? he didn't so like we're going to make it that we're going to stop here yeah and turn around turn around here yeah he's still in there look or she uh, uh, hoof things will be all wrinkly you know oh, you stop yeah. in the bath too long and then go all like i don't know i haven't had a bath for about five mm. years I haven't had one for a bit, actually. I can't remember last time I had a bath. <laughs> and before you say anything, dear viewers, that doesn't mean say I don't have a shower. Okay? 
Thank you. I just, I, I've never liked baths. Mrs. B loves them. Not for me. Well, folks, the little cafe we're going to go to is shut. So, once this lady puts down the drawbridge, we're going to jump back in the car and go and find somewhere to have a bite of eat. A bite of eat? A bite of food to eat. And get a cold drink for Kenneth. He's just had all his water. <laughs> Bless him. Right. Yes, folks, that was the cafe we were going to stop at. Never mind, it's only open. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday now. That is such a shame because, honestly, we had such a lovely bite to eat in there last time. Yeah. Never mind. So as I say, the plan is go and find somewhere to pop and have a bite to eat. Yeah, which is nice. A nice cool drink for Kenneth. Then I can go back home. And do what? And go on to uh, that well-known market store and spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> right, folks, we'll see you. Well, we'll see you later. This is Bonneville. Where are we? We're at um, Langoff. <laughs> I've only had a few sweets, I've had no drink. Uh, we're at the Pontisilli Inn. Goodbye. Oh, that's a close up. Down past the. <laughs> past the oh, shut up. <laughs> Again, folks, just listen to nature. And Mrs. Bonneville's phone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Because it wouldn't be. Because you have to stop it and. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Goodbye.